Hey guys, welcome to another video. So after producing my videos looking at the different restrap bags, some of you have asked what's actually inside them. So today I'm gonna to have a look at the Handlewell bag, which has got my sleeping system inside. Now I'm pretty set what I'm actually gonna use in my sleeping system for my coast to coast trip in a few months. So we'll look at the sort of say Handlewell bag today, and then we'll look at the different bags in a few weeks time, once I've got that sort of set up configured to exactly how I want it. So my sleeping system consists of tent, one man tent, sleeping bag and sleeping mat. Now I haven't actually had the chance because of COVID and the weather to actually get any of it out yet. I've, apart from sticking the tent up quickly in my front room, so obviously I couldn't peg it down. That's the first time, well, only time I've actually had it out. Uh, so I've blown up the sleeping pad and obviously unraveled and had a look at the sleeping bag, but I haven't actually had them all set up at the same time yet. So we'll see how we get on today. So first of all, I'll take the bag off the bike and give it the all important weigh test. So obviously you want as light a weight as possible on the front of the bars, just obviously affect the handling. So bought my trusty luggage scales. We'll check that out and see how we get on. So that is weighing in at 2.38 kilograms. So not too shabby, I don't think. So as you know, if you've watched my restrap videos, it's a double-ended dry bag from restrap. So we'll have a look what I've got inside. That's yours. So my sleeping mat is the Climate Static V2. My tent is a one-man tent. It's called the Backpacker Pro 1, I think. Yeah, Backpacker Pro 1 from outdoorgear.co.uk is pretty cheap, light, pretty lightweight. So see how that is. And then my sleeping bag, I've actually stuffed it in without the sack. Now, I found that was best just to give me the best sort of overall shape for the dry bag. So otherwise, if I put it in the sort of stuff sack that it comes with, then because you've got two, sorry, three cylindrical sort of items all going into another cylindrical item, there's a lot of dead space there. So. That's why I sort of stuffed it in. Um, it's a dry bag, so it should be, I'm relying on it to be dry. Um, there's a chance of it getting wet, I suppose, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just like I say, just, you can stuff it into the nick, nick and crannies around the different, the other two items, and then it overall gives you a better shape for, to fit in between my handlebars. So that's what I'm gonna go with. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll set the tent up, I'll blow the sleeping mat up, sleeping pad, stick the uh, bag on top and then we'll see what that looks like and how long it actually takes. So you might be able to see, I've actually got my tent poles in here, in between my frame bag and my top tube. So, I'm not sure the best way to get at these. I might be just where to put them out. There we go, nice and easy. That's to take the whole frame bag off. So, that was easier than I was anticipating. As you'll see, the tent comes in two parts. There's a mesh or inner compartment and then the waterproof fly sheet goes over the top. Uh, there are two short poles which go in either ends and then the ends are pegged out to give the tent its overall shape. Now, as you might notice in the video, whilst I'm setting up the tent, I get interrupted by a woman and her kids, and her dogs as well. And for some reason in this massive park I was in, they come and sit down and play right next to me. Now the kids and the dogs were really interested in the bike and the tent, um, which you can imagine I wasn't particularly thrilled about. So for that reason, I didn't spend a massive amount of time sort of pegging out the tent. Now I pegged out the fly sheet to get the overall shape, but I didn't use the guide ropes, but you should get an overall picture of what the tent is like. Now I move on to the sleeping pad. As I mentioned earlier, this is the static V2 pad from Climate. Um, it inflated pretty quickly, to be fair. I think on the case it says uh, within 15 breaths. Um, I didn't count mine, but that does sound about right. Maybe a little less. Obviously, I've got quite big, quite big breaths, so I expect it to be around about between 10 and 15, I would say. Um, it fits in the tent pretty well. Uh, obviously, the tent's very small, um, so there's not a massive amount of room inside. Though. I should be able to get one of my bags in there and there's a small gap between the sort of inner and the fly sheet where I can store another bag potentially as well. So although there's not massive amounts of room in there, I think it should be absolutely fine for me. I 
I can lay down comfortably inside and although I won't be able to sit up, that should be fine for what, my, what I actually need. This video isn't supposed to be any kind of review or first impressions or anything like that, but it just gives you an idea of what my sleeping setup will be. I've actually got my first overnight planned at the end of May, um, so it'll give me a chance to get everything out and test it properly, putting it up, packing it down, etc. And I'll obviously make another video giving you a bit more in-depth information on how it went once I've had a chance to use it properly. So that wraps up today's video, just giving you a quick overview of what my sleeping setup will be for my bike packing trips. So I'll just say thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.